Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a lino cut flower in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm here in Adobe Illustrator, and I'll come over here to Create New. I'm just going to go along the top here to Print, and then we'll choose Letter, and we'll come down here to Create. All right, and now I'm going to hit P on my keyboard and we'll start drawing part of the first petal. So I'm going to draw one side just like this, clicking once and then coming down here and just dragging like this. Okay, then we'll get back on our selection tool. Next, I'm going to come up here to Window Stroke to get my stroke palette up. By the way, if you are missing any of these palettes that you see here, they are all under window. So, okay, so let's increase the weight of our stroke to about seven. And then we'll come down here to the profile and choose this first one. So we have pointed ends. And if you don't see all of these options, you can come up here to the flyout and choose show options. Okay, I'm gonna hit P again to get to my pen tool. And I am just going to click and drag like this. I'm gonna get close to that other line, but not right on it. Okay, let's also make this one seven. And we'll choose the same stroke profile. And this looks a little weird here, so I'm gonna hit N on my keyboard. That'll bring me to the pencil tool. And then I'll just option and drag over this to kind of smooth it out. Let's highlight both pieces and we want to make sure we have a black outline and no fill. Right now we have a white fill. So I'm going to come down here to none. Okay. And now we'll get to our blend tool. I'll click this and I'll just click this side and then I'll click this side. And depending on your settings, it'll probably add just a piece in the middle like this. So let's change our blend settings. I'll double click on it and I'll come over here and choose specified steps. And I think I'm going to choose uh, eight. We'll preview this. Okay. And this is looking pretty good. Let's knock that down to maybe five and we'll say, okay, now I'm going to zoom in. I'll hit Z on my keyboard, which is the zoom tool. And then I'll draw a box around this. Okay, and this is looking really nice. Everything's spaced out evenly. Um, let's hit A on our keyboard now, and that'll take us to the direct selection tool, which is right up here. I'm going to just select this dot and pull it up near the other one. And that'll kind of transform it into the other one. We'll get this other point down here. I'm just going to pull it over here. And now we really get that lino cut look. We can even drag our handle out to just see how that affects how that lino cut looks. This looks pretty nice. Now I'm going to select both pieces with my selection tool and group them with command G or control G on a PC. Now I'm just going to rotate a little bit so that this point kind of lines up with this point. It doesn't have to be exact. Now I'm going to copy and then paste in front. That's command F or control F on a PC. And then I'll hit O, that's our reflect tool. And you can see there's an anchor point right here. Well, I don't really want it to rotate from this anchor point, or I don't want it to flip from this anchor point. I want it to flip from this area down here. So to define a new anchor point, you can just hit option and click down there. It also will open up this dialog box and we want the horizontal reflect. So let's preview that. Okay. That's looking really good. So we'll say, okay, I'm going to hit O because I want to reflect it left to right. So I'm going to hit O return or enter and we'll choose vertical. Okay. And this is looking good. This is just what I want. So we'll say, okay, I'll hit V to get back on my selection tool. And now I'm just going to move this up. So it sort of looks like it's overlapping this other piece a little bit. Okay. Let's select both of these and we'll copy and paste in front again. That's control C and control F on a PC or command C and command F on a Mac. Okay. So we have one copy right in front of the other. Now I'm going to get over a corner handle and just click and drag, and then we'll hold shift until it snaps into, I believe that's a 45 degree angle. And then we can hit command C 
Command F and Command D, or Control C, Control F, and Control D. So what that does is you're copying, you're pasting in front, and then you're transforming again. So let's do that one more time. Command C, Command F, Command D. So now we've got our Lino Cut Flower. Using the Blend tool is a really quick way to get some really interesting looks in your artwork. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.